With tensions continuing to simmer in Ukraine, India and the Indian government is tracking very closely all that's happening. And there is, of course, a, a lot of concern, a lot of worry for Indian nationals in Ukraine. The Ministry of External Affairs has set up a helpline. They've said that we're doing everything we need to to help all Indian nationals in Ukraine. They've also announced that they're now increasing flight operations from Ukraine to India to allow Indian nationals to head back home if they want. Tensions simmering at the Russia-Ukraine border as trust deficit grows among the neighbors. While Russia has declared it is pulling back some of its forces from the borders, Ukraine fears the threat of invasion is still real. The center has reached out to Indian citizens in Ukraine. There are 20,000 Indian students in that country. Actually, most of the parents are calling daily from morning till evening to know about what is happening, should they call their children back to India or not. So, but till now, as a situation, we get to know from students and from Indian Embassy and from the University Authority, everything is stable. The Ministry of External Affairs on Wednesday set up a control room for assistance of Indian nationals in Ukraine. The government has also started a 24-hour helpline for Indian citizens in East European nations. The move comes after the Indian Embassy in Kiev received calls complaining about the non-availability of flights to India. The Ministry of External Affairs asked people not to panic as more flights are being arranged to bring Indian nationals home. Much depends on how events play out. NATO claims there is no Russian de-escalation at the border, as Moscow claims. The Western Military Alliance has said it is considering more troops and weapons to bolster Eastern Europe's defences. Bureau Report, India Today. Now, there's a lot of uncertainty in Ukraine on exactly what could happen next. Is there going to be an invasion by Russian troops? Let's get you this ground report by Rajesh Pawar, where he tells you what's happening in the capital city of Kiev. He spoke to several citizens as well on the situation. What you see here behind me is the Independence Square in Maidan. It shot to limelight in 2013, in the November of 2013, during the Maidan protest movement here in Kiev. And that particular moment changed the political trajectory of Ukraine from a Russia-centric Ukraine to a Eurocentric Ukraine. This is a main square called the Independence Square and this is Maidan where all political movements, any big protest in the country takes place in this square. I'm here with my young Ukrainian friend and let's uh, see what he thinks about the entire situation. People are very stressful, people are uh, really energized uh, energized with uh, this news and there is no sense to talk about this we uh, need to talk about economics about politics in our country and uh, try to change it you must be watching in the tv or reading in the newspapers uh, about this tension between russia and ukraine do you think there's going to be war uh, I think not, because uh, we still uh, live uh, this life uh, like before, and uh, nothing. Uh, uh -huh. uh, and uh, all is the same. So you mean to say life. situation sometime back, and today is almost the same. Uh, nothing has yeah. changed. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, nothing changed uh, in the future, and now uh, it just. Um, uh, I know hype, maybe you know, in, uh, for um, for making uh, a Ukrainian economic uh, um, situation bad. Yeah, yeah. You must have heard about uh, news items about Russia going yeah, to invade course. Ukraine. What do you think about it? Uh, I think it's kind of game of muscles and nothing more. Uh, yep, for sure, people are worrying a lot, but. In my case, and in case of my uh, friends, we just um, trying to live our typical life without any attention to this kind of aggression. And why you think Russia will not start a war? I think we need no no reason for war. It's no uh, 
economics on uh, more of losses for uh, Russia. So it's not beneficial for Russia? It's not that is the reason they will not start the war? I think it's uh, uh, just a uh, uh, method for terrible U Ukrainians. Just more. Thank you. So my friend here thinks that Russia is not going to start a war at all for economic reasons because they will also suffer and it is just a tactics to pressurize Ukraine. This is Rajesh Pawar in Kiev, Ukraine for India Today.